<clears throat> Shalom family, this is Adiel and the Brethren. Today I have uh, with me Brother uh, Yosef. We're going to talk about the Passover and the Feast of Unleavened Bread. So I'm going to start off, I'm going to take you guys about that. I'm going to take you guys to Exodus 12, right? This is the actual event, right? So let's, let's go to it, right? Exodus 12. <clears throat> now the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, this month, shall be your beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Very, very important, right? First month of the year. Speak to the congregation of Israel saying, on the 10th of this month, every man shall take for himself a lamb according to the house of his father, a lamb for a household. And if the household is, is too small for the lamb, let him and his neighbor next to his house Take it according to the number of the persons, according to each man's need. You shall make your count for the lamb. Your lamb shall be without blemish, a male of the first year. You may take it from the sheep or from the goats. Let me say that again, guys. Pay attention. You may take it from the sheep or from the goats. So it's not just a lamb. It could also be a goat. Now, you shall keep it until the 14th day of the same month. Then the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel should kill it at twilight or evening. Right. And they shall take some of the blood and put it on the two doorposts and um, on the house where they eat it. Then they shall eat the flesh on that night, roast in fire with unleavened bread and with bitter herbs. They shall eat it. Do not eat it raw, nor boil it at all with water, but roast in fire its head with legs and its entrails. You shall let none of it remain until morning, and what remains of it until morning you shall burn with fire. And thus you shall eat it with a belt on your waist, your sandals on your feet, and your staff in your hand. So you shall eat it in the haste. It is the Lord's Passover. So let me be very, very clear, guys. This is the actual event, right? This is what was going on at that particular time, what the Israelites were told, right? You go back up to verse one. Now, the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, right, this is what they were supposed to do. Don't get it twisted about what we're supposed to do, right? Similar, but I'm just trying to make that point to you guys, right? Now, let's go to verse 12. For I will pass through the land of Egypt on that night and will strike all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all gods of Egypt. I will execute judgment. I am the Lord, right? Thus the name Passover, right? Now the blood shall be a sign for you on the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be on you to destroy you when I strike the land of Egypt. Now, let's get to the nitty gritty, right? 14. So this day shall be to you a memorial and you shall keep it as a feast to the Lord throughout your generations. You shall keep it as a feast by an everlasting ordinance. Now, uh, let's go to Leviticus 23 because it actually breaks down. Uh, it actually breaks down kind of how we go about doing it, right? So let's go to Leviticus 23 and Leviticus 23 verse 4 and Brother Yosef is going to read it. It's the book of Leviticus chapter 23 verse 4. These are the feasts of the Lord, even holy convocations, which ye shall proclaim in their seasons. In the fourteenth day of the first month at even is the Lord's Passover. And on the fifteenth day of the same month is the feast of unleavened bread unto the Lord. Seven days he must eat unleavened bread. So before we go into the feast of unleavened bread, I want you guys to understand something, right? When we're talking about the Passover... You know, the Lord gave the Israelites a specific day, how to, you know, as far as when they were, you know, the actual event of the Passover, when he, they put the blood on the doors, 
And the it's known as, the I believe, the destroyer. He was going to pass over and he was killing all the firstborn men and beasts in Egypt. These were the order. These were the orders that the Most High gave the Israelites to do. Now, let me say this. You guys are not, I repeat, you are not going to kill a lamb or a goat and take blood and put it on your door, right? That's not what we're doing. If you do that, you're going to have some problems. Mm -hmm. And when I say problems, we're talking about Peter and maybe some other people as well. So don't do that. Please don't do that, right? There's nothing saying that that's what we have to do. That's why I went to... Um, Leviticus 23 so you guys could see about how we you know how we recognize that day the Passover right it's a reenactment of the actual event right so me and the brother Yosef we got together today we're observing as the Passover right we ate our meal before sunset our meal consisted of lamb bitter herbs which we use garlic um, and we had some potatoes and some cucumbers and we washed it down with some water, basically. That's how we observed the Passover. We had that meal. We prayed before. It. Uh, when they say the holy codification, that's a meeting, right? So our meeting right now is us reading to you guys about the Passover, right? We're talking about it, right? We're getting an understanding about it, right? Now, in this time frame... We have a few hours before sunset. When the sun sets, then we get into the Feast of Unleavened Bread, right? So let me go to that, right? Um, so let's go back to Exodus 12, right? Exodus 12, uh, 15. Seven days you shall eat unleavened bread. On the first day... You shall remove leaven from your houses for whoever eats leaven bread from the first day until the seventh day. That person shall be cut off from Israel on the first day. Right. This is regarding the Feast of Unleavened Bread. We're done with the Passover. Now we're talking about the Feast of Unleavened Bread. So on the first day, there should be a holy codification, right? A meeting, right? And on the seventh day, there should be a holy codification for you, right? Another meeting. So you have the first day of unleavened bread and you have the seventh day, which is the last day, right? You're going to have meetings. Watch this, guys. No manner of work shall be done on them, but that which everyone must eat, that only may be prepared by you, right? 17. So you shall observe the Feast of Unleavened Bread, for on this same day I have brought your armies out of the land of Egypt. Therefore, watch this, guys. You shall observe this day throughout your generations as an everlasting ordinance, right? So keep that in mind, right? Everlasting ordinance. Everlasting is forever, right? Now, uh, and then, you know, it goes into it again, 19 for seven days. No leaven should be found in your houses since whoever eats what is leaven, that same person should be cut off from the congregation of Israel, whether he is a stranger or a native of the land. You shall eat nothing leaven in all your dwellings. You shall eat unleavened bread. Right. So I'm going to go to Leviticus 23. Right. And mm -hmm. we're going to read about that. I'm going to let the brother Yosef read that. It's the book of Leviticus, chapter 23, verse 6. And on the 15th day of the same month is the feast of unleavened bread unto the Lord. Seven days ye must eat unleavened bread. In the first day ye shall have a holy convocation. Ye shall do no servile work therein. So... Again, how I went about this, and again, like I said, we all have to do this to the best of our abilities. I, I can't emphasize that enough. I know there's a lot of brothers in the truth. You have a lot of groups. I'm not going to name groups. They go about doing it different ways. But remember, you have to do what you can do to the best of your abilities. Me and the brother Yosef, this is what we do, right? For the brothers who live alone, you know, me personally, I'm speaking for myself. I go through my place where I live. And I remove all the products that have leaven in it, right? 
What were you talking about leaven? Google it, right? It tells you what it is, right? Baking soda, yeast, something, a rising agent to make, you know, the product rise up, right? You remove it from your house, right? Where you dwell. Now, you could give it away. You can take it and store it somewhere else. But the point of when we read it is to remove it. And going back to the first day and the seventh day. Of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, Holy Conification. That's a meeting. You get with the people who are in your circle and you guys have a meeting. You know, you, you talk, you read the Bible, you get an understanding. This is something I've been doing for years now. So that's how we go about doing the Passover and the Feast of Unleavened Bread. If you guys have any questions about this, you can leave questions, concerns, thoughts, Put it in the comments section and, you know, we'll talk about it uh, before I part ways. I'm going to let the brother Yosef, if he wants to say something before we head out. Uh, just shalom, on, shalom, on, Israel. All right, guys. With that being said, I hope you guys I hope this has been official to you guys. One love. Shalom.